hello everyone welcome back to my unreal engine tutorial series so today what i'm going to show you is this when the player character go to the sight range of this enemy character he will equip the weapon like that and when i go out of his sight range he will put back the weapon here is the demonstration so basically i am going to start working on sight configurations of AI enemy character and this episode is sponsored by these generous patreons thank you very much for the support you guys are giving me all right so let me first open my patrol in enemy blueprint right and yeah, we don't have to add anything there. I'll just open AI Human BT. And here, I need to add the AI Perception component. Like this. I'll name this one AI Perception Site. And here, as I'll add for the, under the sense config, I'll add AI site config. Site radius, yeah, I'll keep these things as default values. And here I have detect enemies, detect neutrals, and detect friendlies. And as I know, this uh, detection by affiliation part is not fully supported with blueprints yet. So therefore, I'll enable everything. And I'm going to use my is enemy interface function that I have used before to determine whether it's a friend or foe. So yeah let's get started like this on target perception updated I'll add this one and I'll just print something like this append get the actor name the actor that I am seeing through my senses and I'll make break this one and stimulus successfully sensed see I'll set I'll print this like this so that I can see what happens with the senses of my AI character and if this is working what it should what hap should happen is this so when my enemy character see the player character it should print to the left top left corner of the screen actor name space c true if the enemy npc character lost the sight of the player character it should show the character name space C space false. Let's see if that works. Now I'll go here, and as you can see, it just saw CH player C true. And when I go out, it just saw CH player C false, like this. Okay. Also, I should mention that um, I have already added a AI perception stimuli show, source to this uh, player character. That's why it can already seen by the AI characters. Otherwise, it will not be able to see because this player character will not be say, registered as a source for perception system right so now here uh, I also have implemented 
this is anime function here like this is anime function I have already defined this in a previous episode through the interface of this PPI character here under fight I have defined this is enemy blueprint interface and I'm going to use the same thing here in order to identify the character that I am seeing as an enemy or not so I do it like this is enemy no, get the actor enemy and the team number for the team number I should return the team number of current actor so I can access the current actor like this get controlled phone and get team this is also a function that I have defined in the character blueprint interface like this and I'll show you this get team function as well I have defined it here and implemented it here so just team is just a integer number that I have defined in the human class human character blueprint like this and for the player this would be 1 and for enemies this would be 0 let me show the player as well here we got many variables team yeah team number actually I have given 2 not 1 so if the team numbers are different uh, the in this is enemy function it will return true and also if the character is already dead it will return false because we should not identify dead characters as enemies okay so ignore those parts if you this dead part if you haven't followed my previous tutorials right now here get the enemy get if this is the enemy and do a branch if this is true I should print this and also I should uh, I'll create a boolean variable like this you can see no enemy C and I'll set like this wait a minute yeah if I define the variable here then I would it would be harder for me to access this variable from the behavior tree services so therefore I define that variable in the ch enemy class just like this enemy c and by default it should be false and to set and get this variable I'm gonna need another interface function I'll define it in the BPI and PC interface set enemy C input should be boolean and also get enemy C now you might wonder why do I always at these interfaces and make things complicated but trust me this is 
easier when get when things get complicated it is necessary to do it like this otherwise you will have to do casting everywhere and yeah do casting everywhere and then you have will have unnecessary dependencies between your code components so that's why i keep doing this even though it looks like a little more work at the beginning but trust me it will be useful later okay see right now here i'll implement those interface methods first i need to compile this okay so get enemy scene i had return enemy scene and for set enemy scene fight i'll add another in graph ai yeah set see set like this right now this will be connected like this get the controlled pawn set enemy C and set it and compile also connect this right now and also another thing so when i when my character see an enemy he should equip the sword so i can do that calling this uh, toggle weapon interface function that i have defined here and this is also another function that i have uh, implemented in one of the previous episodes you can refer to that if you want so yeah I'll just call that function here like this toggle weapon and equip or not should be based on I can see or not the enemy like this and for the target I should use this same get controlled form like this and let's see how it works and I'm not going to further implement this behavior tree I will look into that later for now yeah for now I'll keep the enemy uh, I'll stop running the behavior tree because I don't need it to move I only need to demonstrate how to use the site config okay so let me play and see check right now as you can see the enemy is unarmed because he haven't seen any other enemy of his now when he see me he equipped the sword like this now I'll go back out of his sight now he should put back his yeah weapon like that okay I'll stop here for today and the next episode I will show how to make this character follow player when he see the player and also after that attack and thanks for watching if you like to support my work you can get the membership of my patreon club right here link would be in the description below see you in the next episode goodbye